this Tonton PND 520 to go to Rumont. And now we are uh, using the My Drive app, it's a companion app. Yeah, it's the first time I actually use this, so let's see how it works. Um, intuitively, apparently, that I don't have to manually input the address into the uh, Tonton GPS like. In the past, you have to search, you have to drive to work. So this thing is next generation. So if I go back to the main menu, so this is the map. And here you have the My Drive uh, app. So I click in, then it shows the surroundings map. And you can also have various function to plan your places, my uh, routes. So we plan the routes. So where are we going? I think we are going to Rumont. outlet for the shopping and then I put it in yeah like this one yeah it looks more general and then what you do is directly it selects yeah, the best three alternatives, three alternatives and then we send it to device. our device once we so it also shows the minutes so it automatically pick up the optimal, uh, optimal routes, and then it's send it to your address. You have received a new destination. Yeah, the PND received the notification. 46. Now we are heading to Rumont. Actually, I will show you later in the video. Um, what I have is um, about this brand new uh, Montclair um, a jacket because I'm really, really cold. Normally, I don't really wear anything uh, with the jacket with those things. But actually, this time I decided I really want to have one of these warm overcoat because I'm so cold in the Netherlands. And inside the bag, I have another, actually, a Gillette. We call it a little jacket without a sleeve. I don't know what is the English word for it. So I think it will be perfect for men when they wear a suit. They want to remain kind of like a formal look. But still, it's very cold. So you can have that little uh, Gillette over your suit. Have another look. I will show you later how to uh, okay, mix Okay, thank you match. for your feedback. Yeah. <laughs> Show the monk clear. Yes, well, I bought this monk And uh, yeah, it's a nice experience to spend before Christmas. And I also recommend the guys to come before the big sale starts, otherwise, it's all empty or the small size will not be available. And uh, yeah, I think in general, very nice. Maybe we should come more often, twice a year. <laughs> okay, let's go to have some drinks. Starbucks. 
we are back to town and now we are going to have a dinner and also have a feedback review about what we have experienced in the outlet room and uh, see Hi everybody, so we are in the conservatorium hotel and um, we're going to first eat and then give you a little review um, what we have just done in uh, in Rumont for our shopping spree. Okay, so the dinner starts, but don't rush into the food. Let me ask you some questions. So, how do you uh, rate the Rumont outlet? Do you like it? I think it really surprised me that in Rumont you find much more variety also. I think the same level is a real boutique. Of course, the shopping environment is less let's say favorable um, because a lot of people were there and stuff is just laying around but it is like you are finding a treasure um, in a sand you know you just if you have to be patient you have to be smart you have to be quick and you will find one of the items that you are really looking for for a long time but you just couldn't buy it for the original retail price and you will not be surprised or disappointed in the outlet to find something you like. Oh, that's interesting. So you can really find uh, some um, original designs there. Not just a uh, manufacturer uh, line, but uh, a real design one. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I saw in Rumon, everything is specially made for Rumon, you know. And actually that was not true. It is just some seasonal uh, pieces which left over from the official boutique. It end up in, uh, in the places like uh, Mont, and it's quite nice. Okay, that's really good to know. And can you share some uh, other tips for uh, if we can want we first to go eat, to please? Me? Because okay. I'm very hungry. Yeah. Okay, the dinner is over, so you can have some energy to share with us some tips if uh, we are interested in visiting this uh, this kind of village. Yes, the tips. I think what you should do is first decide what you like actually from the current season and then you can visit those outlets for once and then establish a good relationship with the local sales guys or girls and then have their phone number and they will inform you whenever your favorite item is on sale. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. How yeah. Um, and the second thing is always look around and don't do the rush thing because I think in an uh, in, uh, outlet these places the price is of course very attractive. So no impulsive shopping? No, because you might compromise sizes or colors just because of the price and then you bought home and you found out you actually doesn't don't like the item and then you waste the money. Okay, yeah, you know? that's right. So that I think that is a two golden principle everybody should remember when they uh, do purchasing in uh, purchases in uh, uh, outlets. Okay, I almost fell to sleep and it's time for Sitian to give us some. Actually, I also almost fell asleep. I'm so full. <laughs> so, what do you think of our room on the outlet shopping experience? I think 80% of my comments would be overlapping with yours. Yes, no impressive shopping and do a lot of preparations before you go. And I recommend like um, two or three times a year to visit the uh, outlet, either in Rumon or in, uh, yeah, in uh, Milan or something. I've never been to there, but my friend told me also they have many uh, scarves brands like Balenciaga, Tifonsi, something like that. And for uh, the specific tips for uh, outlets in Rumo, um, I think Burberry, they do have a lot of good stuff there. Well, maybe they hate me to say that. But Gucci also? Yeah, Gucci as well, but Gucci sometimes uh, they don't have the size. Like for me, I only uh, wear 36 and uh, mostly uh, they don't have such a small size anymore in Austin. But well, and if you have a 38 or 40, then you definitely should try. And Mulberry also have complete collection of yeah, their... Yeah, Mulberry uh, even have the full collection of uh, uh, the base water in all kind of colors. And uh, even the uh, Alexa bag, my friend loves it so much and they still have it. 
and with a reasonable price. And yeah, they have some uh, garments from Mongolia as well. So, well, for Burberry, it's like a, a exactly like one uh, coat, uh, one coat from uh, the beginning of this year. And uh, yeah, it was missed the size. And in outlet, you found it. So I think Burberry, it's really a good try if you like some models on them. Yeah, that's all we can share today for the great shopping experience in Roma market. And I hope you find it useful. And uh, see you next time to see what we will bring you to Christmas. Bye.